In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the monthly payment of a mortgage. So in this example problem, Jessica takes out a $300,000 loan at a fixed interest rate of 5% to buy a home. The loan is to be repaid in a time period of 30 years. Part A, calculate Jessica's monthly mortgage payment. What is the formula that we could use to get the answer? The monthly mortgage payment is equal to the principal P times the interest rate R times one plus R raised to the N. N is the total number of payments that need to be made divided by one plus R raised to the N minus one. So let's write down what we know. The principal is the mortgage, $300,000. And that's how much she's borrowing to buy the house. Now the interest rate is 5%, but we need to convert that into a decimal. To do that, you can move the decimal two units to the left or divide five by 100. Five divided by 100 is 0 0.05. Now this will be the annual interest rate. We wish to calculate the monthly payments. So we need to get the monthly interest rate. In this case, because there's 12 months in a year, we need to divide 0 0.05 by 12. So that's gonna give us our R value. N is the number of payments that will be made over the length of the loan. So Jessica took out a 30-year mortgage and it's 12 months in a year. So you need to multiply 12 by 30, which is there's 360 months in 30 years. So she's going to make 360 monthly payments. So that's our end value. The only thing that we need to calculate now is the monthly mortgage payment. So let's plug in everything into this formula. So P is 300,000. R is 0 0.05 divided by 12, and then it's going to be 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12 raised to the n. So we said that n is 360 divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the 12, I mean divided by 12 rather, but raised to the n again, and then minus 1. So let's do this one step at a time. Let's take 300,000, multiply it by 0 0.05, and let's divide that by 12. You should get 1250. Next, let's calculate this portion. Type in what you see. So 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, that's 1.00416 repeating, and then raise that to the 360 power. So you should get 4. 4677 So this is going to be the same as that number. Well, there's no point in rewriting it. We could just subtract it by one. So this is 4.4677 and then the rest of that stuff minus one. So that's going to be 3.4677 four four three one four so twelve fifty times four point four six seven seven four four three one four divided by the number on the bottom will give us our answer so the monthly mortgage payment is one thousand six hundred ten dollars and forty six cents the exact value by the way for those of you who might be interested, is this number. But just to keep things simple, I wanted to round it to the nearest set. So that's Jessica's monthly mortgage payment. Now, it turns out that there is another formula that you could use to get the same answer. And this formula is 
a little less, I mean, it's a little more simpler than the first one. So it's P times R divided by 1 minus 1 plus R, but raised to the negative N instead of positive N. Let's try that formula too. So let's take the principal of 300,000 and let's multiply it by R, which is 0 0.05 over 12. And then for the bottom, you want to introduce a set of brackets if you're going to use a calculator. So to 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the 12. And then, I mean, divided by 12, but raised to the negative 360. So don't forget to include the negative sign. It's very important. So 300,000 times 0 0.05 divided by 12. We know that to be 1250. And then 1 minus, and then in parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12 raised to the negative 360. That's 0.776173. Four zero four four. So dividing those two numbers gives you this answer as well. So that's another way in which you can calculate the monthly mortgage payment. So now that we have the answer to part A, let's move on to part B. Calculate the total amount of money that she will have to repay. So we know that she needs to make a total of 360 monthly payments because as was mentioned before, there's 360 months in 30 years. So the total amount that she's going to pay is going to be the monthly payment times the number of payments that she's going to make. So 1610.46 times 360. So that's $579,765.60. So that's going to be the total amount of money that she's going to pay. Now granted, this is based on our rounded answer. If we want to find the exact value, we could take this number and multiply it by 360. Let's do that. So the exact value is $579,767.35. So we can see the difference is approximately $2. So not too much of a difference, but nevertheless, we can go for a rounded answer because when you make a monthly payment, it's going to be rounded. Typically, it's rounded to nearest cent. So this will be a reasonable answer for part B. So now let's move on to part C. Calculate the total interest that she will pay for this loan. So how can we do that? How can we calculate the total interest? The total interest paid on this loan over a time period of 30 years is going to be the difference between the total amount of money that she pays minus the principal. So we need to subtract this number by 300,000. So all you need to do is subtract 5 by 3 and you'll get 279,765 dollars and 60 cents. So that's going to be the total amount of money that she's going to pay in interest over a period of 30 years. Now you might be wondering that's a lot of money to pay in interest. But what are some ways in which she can reduce the total interest that she's going to pay over the lifetime of this loan. Well, there's two things that she could do to reduce the total interest paid. Number one is to reduce the time period of the loan. If she can reduce uh, the length of the loan, the total interest paid will be reduced because there's less time for interest to accumulate. 
And the only way to decrease the time period of the loan is to make larger monthly payments. If she can increase her monthly payments, she's going to pay off the loan a lot faster. So that's one way is you increase your monthly payments. That's going to decrease the length of the loan. And so because you pay off the loan faster, interest has less time to accumulate on your account balance. And so the total interest paid will be reduced. So that's number one. Pay off the loan faster by increasing your monthly payment. Number two is negotiate. The second thing you could do is reduce the interest rate on the mortgage. If you could bring down the interest rate where all else is, let's say if everything else is the same, just by reducing the interest rate, you can reduce the total amount of interest that you're going to pay over the time period of this loan. So those are the two ways you can bring down the interest. Number one, pay off the loan faster by increasing your monthly payments. Or number two, negotiate for a better interest rate. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to calculate the monthly mortgage payment and also how to calculate the total interest that you'll pay on a loan given, uh, it's, given the time period of the loan. By the way, for those of you who want to get these answers in Excel, I've created a video titled How to Calculate the Loan Payment Using the PMT Function in Excel. If you type that into YouTube and then type in Organic Chemistry Tutor, it's going to show up. But I'm going to also post a link in the description section below. So you can just click on that link and find the video that you're looking for there. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.